Hello, hello, and welcome to another edition of, or another episode of New Music Tuesday. And today's topic is, or has been highly anticipated for like the past month or so. And you will hear my cats in the background. They've been gone for a little while, and so they're really hyper. But that's not going to stop me. I just fed them. I just played with them. And they are just going to have to chill. Uh, it's out, you guys. It's out. Look at the title of the video or new YouTube. Title of the video. Bruno Mars. His new album, Unorthodox Jukebox, is out. And I love it. It's so good. It is so good. Um... It is everything I thought it would be and more, despite the fact that I hate that it only has 10 tracks on it. Um, I love it. I love every single track on the album. My favorite by far, Young Girls, Locked Out of Heaven, um, When I Was Your Man, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, When I Was Your Man is my favorite. Like, okay, here is my problem. Young Girls... See, what Bruno Mars did, he premiered that song on Saturday Night Live when he performed like a month or so ago. And he did it, the, the, the accompaniment was different there than what it was on the CD, on the album. And I like the SNL version better than the CD version, but I still love it. But I just like the SNL version better. Um, but the song When I Was Your Man more than makes up for it. Um, that song is just talk him talking about him singing about his regrets of what he didn't do when he was really when he was with this great great girl and um, now that since he didn't do it for her some other guy is doing it for her. So taking care of her and taking her out dancing and all these different things. It's such a really really beautiful song. Bruno Mars He is so talented and it's just so amazing. And um, sorry, I'm putting my heater down. He is just, oh my gosh. I, I, there are really just no words for how great I think he is. Um, I'm gonna, I always have my computer in front of me because I like to have all the information right in front of me. I don't want to necessarily have to, um, guess my way through this video so my computer is down here you're here i'm here i'm we're, we're completely there let's see he uh i know that he wrote every single one of these songs he co-wrote every single one um but yeah my favorite when i was your man let's see what that one's about it says here it's going to be the third promotional single and it was just released on the 3rd of December, which is great. That means that you guys will probably hear it. If you haven't heard it yet, either Spotify the album or YouTube it. I'm sure, unfortunately, it's going to be on YouTube, which means you didn't pay for it. But um, go ahead and listen to it. But if you love When I Was Your Man, please go out and support him. Go buy the album. I, I kid you not, you guys. If you are a fan of, you know, old school R&B anything like that, you're going to love this album because he pays so much homage to great, great soul singers and R&B singers. And he just has a really, really good funk sound to him. Um, some really other good songs on the album are, um, let's see, are, is Natalie, Moonshine, Treasure. It's the first half of the album. It's just so great. The whole album is great. But Gorilla, <laughs> the song Gorilla is about making love like gorillas. I, I don't know about you, but I've never had any interest in watching gorillas have sex. But um, the beat, like the, the jam on that song, the tempo... You know, it's a real groove. You know, you just go, and you just go, and you just go, and then you hear gorillas. And it's like, what, Bruno? But okay. 
no complaints because it's still a bomb song. But uh, I love this album. Bruno Mars, is he has earned every accolade that he has gotten thus far. Hold on. I'm back. He has got, he is, he deserves every accolade that he's gotten thus far. Um, I'm looking at the rating of his album. I mean, he's gotten pretty favorable reviews on the album. Um, Entertainment Weekly gave it an A-, which I totally agree with. Um, it's mixed and mastered fairly well. Um, his live performances for me, I would love to go to a concert for this album to see how everything would be choreographed and put together. The accompaniments, I know the band is gonna be jamming out and dancing if you guys haven't seen his Saturday Night Live or even his Victoria's Secret um, fashion show that just aired last week. If you haven't seen that, and my, I just got really cross-eyed right now, so whoa. Go and YouTube those videos and see. Bruno Mars can put on a show. He is phenomenal and I have hair that's hanging on my nose ring and it needs to go away. But um, yeah, it's really, really great. And um, his song, Young Girls, is really, really great. I There's just not enough good things that I can say about this man and how skilled and how talented and how unique he is. He is bringing back a sound that has been so far gone for such a long time. He's bringing back Michael Jackson's sound. You know, he's he's bringing back all these different sounds. He's bringing back um, just the new wave sound. And so uh, I really missed that sound. Didn't realize I missed it as much as I did until I heard this album. And he, he does it so well. He just does an excellent job of executing it. He's not a copycat. He's very innovative and he'll take what his, you know, people before him have laid out, you know, and he'll take it and he'll let it influence who he is as an artist. And I really, really feel that and I respect him. I respect him so much for that. Um, this is the first time in a while where I really had nothing negative to say about an artist. Um, because there really isn't anything negative to say about it. You guys may disagree, but this is my personal opinion. I think he is one of the greater artists, really, of the past five years. Um, I think he's only going to get bigger. I think if he keeps his nose clean and doesn't, you know, get in trouble like he did, what was it, a year or two ago with the drugs and whatnot, then I think he will be really, really great. He's associating himself with the right people, collabing with great people. Um, he doesn't allow himself to be in a box. He doesn't make just one type of music. If he wants to go pop, he'll go pop. If he wants to go R&B, he'll go R&B. If he wants to go rock for a second, he'll go rock. If he wants to go funk, he'll go funk. He can do it all. And he doesn't limit himself to who he works with. He, you know, we know he's worked with uh, B.O.B. We know that he collaborates with other artists as well. You know, I'm trying to think of some other artists that he's worked with. I am blanking, which is really ridiculous considering that he's been everywhere. You know I'm about to look it up right this second. So uh, hold that thought. He has collaborated with just so many people. He's um, worked with, let's see, B.O.B., Travi McCoy, Bat Meets Evil, Lil Wayne, Snoop Dogg, Wiz Khalifa, and yeah, Damian Marley. Um, he does, he doesn't let himself you know, be clothes in a box. Yeah, he's worked with Far East Movement. He's worked with CeeLo. You know, there's nothing that I can't say. Nothing good. Or nothing bad <laughs> to say about this. But if you have not heard the album yet, it is on Spotify. Spotify is free. Um, if you don't have the premium version, the premium, I have the premium. But yeah, it is on Spotify. I will be going to purchase the physical album this weekend. Um... Yeah, you guys just support him. Support him as an artist. He is a great artist. We need quality artists today. And I really think that he is one. And so that's all I have to say about it. I, Bruno Mars, hats off to you, boo. I, I really love the album. I love it. And I really feel that you're going to just get bigger and better. And I think this album is going to do really, really well. So, yay! That's
that's it. Leave a comment down below if you agree with what I said, if you disagree, if there's something that I didn't say that you think I should have, or yeah, just to say hi. I love doing these New Music Tuesdays and I hope to continue doing them for a while, but until next time, bye. I gotta go back and listen to his album again. See ya.